latitude by meridian altitude. Meridian altitude can be defined as true altitude of a celestial body when it culminates. Culmination means when the body passes on the observer's meridian. This is also known as meridian passage. Well, uh, let's look here. This is observer on the celestial sphere that is uh, zenith the projection of the position of observer and these are the north and south and east and west points on the horizon this one is the horizon and the body is passing through this the moment the body passes on the observer's meridian and this north and south is the meridian and which is passing through the observer that is that means this is the observer's meridian so as the body is passing as the body passes through the observer's meridian this one will be the altitude true altitude when meridian passage occurs or we can say this one is the zenith distance from a body to observer that is the zenith distance well in this case the bearing will be either a north or the bearing will be either south. So uh, this diagram also indicates that this is zenith and this is another uh, diametrically opposite point. These are the vertical circles and this is the rational horizon diagram. Now how it appears on this rational horizon uh, diagram? Well, this is the path of a celestial body like this. When it comes here at the observer's meridian, well, this is the pole. Let me uh, just mark here with some color. This is pole. This is uh, observer here. And this is uh, equinoctial. Uh, equinoctial is the projection of uh, equator on the celestial sphere. And this is the rational horizon. North east south west this is the rational horizon so this n to x is the meridian altitude n to x and x to z that is the zenith distance and we call it meridian zenith distance that means that is the zenith distance of celestial body when the body is passing through the observer so we can say that uh, at times a body was here that means the altitude was zero and the body has to travel on the path of a declination declination is nothing but the equivalent of a latitude on the celestial sphere so as the body is here we can say that uh, body will attain maximum altitude well this is the altitude and this is the maximum altitude or minimum zenith distance well this is the zenith distance and this is the minimum zenith distance body will have when the meridian passage occurs in this case we should also know that azimuth will be either north or south as i discussed so the position line will be east or west like that we should also note one thing that this one is the latitude this one is the latitude of observer and this one is the zenith distance and this side is the declination so we can easily obtain a latitude if we know the declination and if we know the zenith distance then latitude can be easily found like this the position line or celestial line of position is the east west line and it coincides with the parallel of a latitude so if we have the uh, meridian zenith distance uh, from a celestial body to observer and a declination of a celestial body if we have the declination of a celestial body then of course we can find the latitude of observer it should also be noted that uh, the meridian zenith distance is always named opposite to the bearing of a celestial body well we'll explain it further 
So let's do this example here. Suppose the uh, meridian zenith distance is 20 degree uh, 30 minute and the bearing of the sun is 0, 0, 0 degree true. That is uh, the bearing of the sun is in north and the declination is given which is 5 degree south. We need to find the latitude of observer. Suppose this is the equinoctial which is equivalent of equator and the sun is here. The latitude of sun is 5 degree uh, south and observer's uh, zenith uh, will is uh, 20 degree 30 and the bearing of sun is 0, 0, 0 degree. That means uh, uh, zenith distance uh, will be 20 degree 30 minute south. That means this is 20 degree 30 minute south like this because it is named opposite to bearing. So we can easily find uh, observer's latitude as 25 degree 30 minute and that will be south from equinoctial to the observer. This is the line uh, at which observer uh, is located. Same information we can uh, represent uh, on this uh, rational horizon uh, diagram. This is north, this is south, this is east and this is west and the body was here and then the body has come this level. Well uh, Q to Z that is the latitude which we need to obtain and uh, declination is given which is Q to X that is uh, south uh, declination Q that is equinoctial to X that is the celestial body which is 5 degree south. Now the zenith uh, uh, distance from X to Z that is uh, also south and the value of this is 20 degree 30 minute south from X to Z and this is opposite to the bearing. We can have a look here. Uh, suppose observer, uh, of course, uh, the observer is here at the center, the body is here, the bearing is north, so x to z, the zenith distance is uh, south. Similarly, let's do one more example to reinforce uh, this idea that uh, uh, zenith distance, meridian zenith distance is 20 degree 10 minute, bearing of the sun is 180 degree true, declination of the sun is 10 degree south. So let's draw this line that is equinoctial and declination of sun is 10 degree is south. That means from equinoctial the sun is uh, downward that southward. MZD meridian zenith distance is uh, a 180 degree true. That means opposite to that that is north. So from here from celestial body we need to go upward by 20 degree 10 minute. So the observer's latitude from equinoctial to this will be 10 degree 10 minute. Sun's bearing has to be uh, is south so meridian zenith distance is north. I can uh, represent the, this information with this rational horizon diagram. So this is the uh, equinoctial, this is observer and from Q to Z is the latitude while the declination of the sun is 10 degree south this way and uh, the meridian zenith distance from X to Z is 20 degree 10 minute north so we know the latitude will be subtract we need to subtract 20 degree 10 minute minus 10 degree south so we get this latitude.